And we're back in the garden talking to Dabney. Welcome back, Dabney. It's good to see you again. Well, nice to be back. Yeah. And, uh, you took a little trip. I took a little trip. Yeah, so. took a little time off. Yeah. And, uh, and now it's time to kind of get back to the garden. Right, and actually, right. I have to happily report, while I was gone, none of my plants died, too. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get into so late last night. I hadn't, chance, hadn't had a chance to check. Ross was just saying, they're bringing cucumbers. I said, no telling what they look like, because it looks like you all have had some good rain this week. You know, I had yeah. water in the bird bath and everything, so that's, that's good. Everything there looks go. great. The lawns look great, which means that this is the time of year those of us that have fescue lawns need to start taking a look and cleaning those up with the weeds that are sprouted. Okay. And also, of course, the crabgrass is starting to come in, the wiregrass is starting to come in. This is the month that we, we try to get everything eliminated so we're, when we're ready to seed in September, we don't have the competition. Okay. And of course, the second thing is those of us have vegetable gardens. As things start to phase out, now's the time to start considering planting from seed your cool weather crops, your uh, broccoli, your cauliflower, those type things. And when I say it's time to do it now, it doesn't mean you have to run right out today. But in the next week or two is a good okay. time to start. Yeah. Well, do it sooner than later, I guess. That's sure. true. Uh, speaking of vegetable gardens too, um, the. Someone posted a question, Angela posted a question, something is snapping her cucumbers off before they get very big. Now, my theory is maybe someone's stealing them, or do you think it's some type of animal that... No, I don't know. No, no, <laughs> yeah. one uh, it, the odds are it could be rabbits. Uh, oh, at this yeah. point in time, I, if, if you're going to replant those, Angela, I would do the bush type. I don't think we have enough time to do the vining type cucumbers. I, I would stay with the bush type at this point and maybe sprinkle some blood meal or one of the rabbit repellents around. And that hopefully that'll take care of it for you, and you'll go ahead and get a crop. But it is you still have time to plant. Don't get me wrong, but it's just okay. that the vining type plants take a little bit longer to produce, where the bush will do it a little bit earlier. Okay, well that's interesting to know. Now, what about hostas? Um, Michelle says my hosta has been attacked by something. There's holes everywhere in the leaves. Is that like a, a beetle or something like that? I, no, I suspect it's probably slugs because oh, of the rain yeah, and the temperatures we're having. Uh, you know, at this point in time, you could you could treat for that. You know, the, the home remedy is take a saucer of beer, uh, sink it in the ground, level the ground. Then the, you know, the slugs are attracted to it, like some humans, yeah. and that would, they'll drown <laughs> it. Uh, then again, you can buy, you know, you do have baits that you can use. I, the thing is, at this point in time, in hostas, they're getting ready to die down anyhow. So if the, the leaves that they eat, you know, are leaves you don't have to worry about cutting off. So I, I don't know what to tell you. It's... Uh, you have to look at each particular plant. Some plants are just starting to bloom. Those you might, may want to keep the slugs off. Those that look like they're starting to brown out, I just let them go. Okay. All right. Well, good tips today, Dabney, and okay. good tips for the lawn. So we'll talk, maybe talk more about that next week. Then yes, too, as well. absolutely. All right, great. Well, thanks a lot. We'll have uh, more news and a last check of weather coming up right after this break.